I have a problem with consistency. Recently, I've noticed that Prospero is actually kind of messed up design-wise, and I have like gazillion types of pop-ups and buttons. Some of them are different colors. Some of them are bold, not bold, uppercase, not uppercase. And there's no like defined style guide or rules of like when to use which type of button. And it just creates a confusion both for me as a designer and both for the users who are actually trying to understand what this button does or why every headline looks differently. And I feel very frustrated because fixing everything in Prosper right now, I've got like gazillions of styles, would take a lot of effort and I'd rather put that effort into, you know, developing features. But two days ago I was in Switzerland, started to work on a new project and already, even though we just did like a couple of landing pages, the developer told me, hey, I noticed some inconsistencies, how about we try to do everything consistent? And first of all, I'm super happy when, you know, a developer kind of gives me feedback about design because that really means that he cares about user experience and about how things look and he told me I really want to make like a premium brand. So that's great to work with people who push you, you know, to become better. So I'm always thinking about ways to improve and how to work better. And I've actually found a super, super awesome way to create a style guide right now when I started working on this new uh, project. So what I actually did is while working, I did the design and sketch, but before I started actually developing it in Webflow, I've just created a page that has kind of all the possible, uh, you know, title cases and buttons already with their interaction, all kinds of dividers and every element that I'm actually going to use. And by having a page that's fully dedicated to becoming a style guide, now I've already started developing a page. It's literally just copying and pasting elements. And if I just want to make kind of a global change to the whole website, I just go to my styles page, make like a few clicks for the padding, spacing, or even size, and the whole website just, uh, you know, changes and updates in a second. And it's so awesome. I can't believe that I didn't do this before. It's going to be, first of all, it's going to save me tons of time designing because it actually, I don't have to remember which styles I've created or try to recreate or create millions of styles, which that's usually how I work. Uh, and, you know, and it's going to actually improve my design because it's going to be much more consistent and coherent. And I'm always have the ability to see in one page all the elements that I have. So I feel like this is kind of a new step for me and it's going to really improve my workflow. So I'm actually happy to get feedback uh, from that developer telling me that your design is not that coherent. Please improve that. Feel really happy about it. All right, forget about design. Let's talk about this. Ah, I got a new drone. So a couple of weeks ago, I've actually sold my Phantom drone that I just bought like eight months ago because I heard that this new thing, Mavic, is coming out and it's going to be much smaller, which means I can take it with me to so many more places. The, the other one was so big that I just, it was a super hassle to take it with me. And so I sold it secondhand and then I ordered this online because it's not available in Israel yet and it got stuck for two weeks in the customs because apparently it has some kind of a Wi-Fi that they thought is not permitted in Israel. And I thought I almost lost it and they're going to deport it and they're not gonna let it in Israel. So I had to file like a bunch of, of forms to get like a permission from the Ministry of Communication in Israel. Anyway, it was a horrible experience and pretty expensive. So it was kind of a mistake to order it online. I should have just waited for it to arrive to Israel. But anyway, I'm super, super excited got a client meeting. I hope I'll finish my work so I'll have enough time to play with this before the meeting. That was such a fun session. Now I'm actually ready for the last client meeting of the week, which was actually a super intensive week. So I'll try to grab a beer and then head for the weekend and relax. 
Hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you next week.